Let's do this again with the anatomy in place. So you'll see my little key down here. CCK is red, secretin is yellow. Um, a lot of times they're both together, right? But there's a couple of differences here. So the stimulus um, is gonna be a little different for the two. Where we're gonna start here, we're starting, starting right here. This is, this is our start. And we've got, what am I doing first? CCK is released and that is in the cells of the, the, the glands of the duodenum in response to fats and proteins in the chyme. is the stimulus for that. Secretin is released from intestinal glands as well. That's in response to a low pH. Here are those endocrine cells, S and I cells that release those hormones. Their hormones go into the bloodstream. That's what hormones do. All right, we've got the stimulus. CCK is going to enter the bloodstream and is going to target first the pancreas. So at the pancreas, we've got, oops, okay. Uh, CCK first, that's what I said. Let me change my color. At the pancreas, pancreatic enzymes are going to be released from the acinar cells. Yep. Then we've also at the pancreas got bicarbonate release. These are released together as pancreatic secretions. Regulated by two different hormones. Kind of cool, the vagus nerve also acts to mildly stimulate this. Is it gonna increase or decrease, do you think? Pancreatic secretion release, the vagus nerve. It's going to increase that. That happens in the cephalic and gastric phase um, to start those digestive, those pancreatic juices a flow in before the actual chyme stimulus has um, arrived. Okay, what's happening here? Here is our um, duct that's coming into the small intestine. So to get that to open, we've got the hepatopancreatic sphincter. I think I finally learned how to spell that. Opens, CCK triggers this. So now, bile juice and pancreatic juice can enter the duodenum, which is super convenient. All right, continuing, and actually, this is actually the last thing if you're thinking about flow, these are all kind of happening together. Um, I'm gonna number these though in a minute. Before the sphincter released, we had to have bile um, secretion and gallbladder release. So here we've got, Secretin triggering bile secretion from the liver. The other thing that's actually doing this is bile salts returning from circulation and stimulating this as well. Then we've got CCK's job in terms of bile is going to be gall bladder contractions, causing bile ejection, right? Um, vagus nerve also weakly stimulates this in those earlier phases. So we do have those, the pancreatic and, and gallbladder responses beginning as soon as we start thinking about food, just a little bit. So this is number one, we had start. Two is really both this and this at the same time. 
but we'll do three, two, three, um, four, and five. Nice, huh? Is there anything else I want to say here? There's other hormones too that are involved, but these are the ones I want to tell you about. Um, one more thing I forgot to tell you before about, no, we won't go there now. We'll, we'll stick with this for now. Okay, let's do a learning check. Where is CC cake secreted from? What's the stimulus? What are the effects of it on these two regions? It is secreted from our eye cells in the intestinal glands. in the duodenum, enteroendocrine cells is also another name for these. Stimulus for it is lipids and proteins, really probably carbohydrates too, um, the presence in the duodenum, right? So in duodenum, it has to be in the duodenum because it's the eye cells that are going to um, detect and respond to that. Effects, well, we just did this one, right? We just did um, ejection of bile. What else do we have? Um, pancreatic enzyme. Secretion. Um, oh, so ejection of bile, that would be both gallbladder contraction and hepatopancreatic sphincter opening. Um, so this, that's also gonna allow pancreatic juices through. I think that's that. Stomach, do you remember this? Um, well, I didn't review it long ago. Here's another picture I haven't shown you. It's kind of a nice little picture here that you can um, use to understand things. This is our intestinal phase, right, um, of gastric activity. And here are CCK and secretin. They are going to be carried in the bloodstream to decrease gastric activity, decrease chief cell and parietal cell activity to decrease HCL and pepsinogen, and also decrease peristalsis. So they're gonna inhibit stomach digestion while stimulating intestinal digestion, which is exactly what we want to happen when we have chyme enter the duodenum. Isn't our biology awesome? Here is one last view. I like to show you pictures. They're just nice pictures that integrate things. Um, here's the liver making bile, the gallbladder concentrating and storing that. CCK is going to cause the release of bile by triggering gallbladder contractions, opening of the sphincter. That bile is going to enter the small intestine and emulsify fats. Big drops to little drops, fat droplets. Here's that, that bile, those bile salts doing their emulsification so that lipase can act on a larger surface area now that we've, we have a higher surface area now. I will actually say it here. What else is in the bile that I told you about? Um, it's a toxin. So in, in this bile is also bilirubin. It's a toxin. It's a major component of this bile. So it's gonna enter the small intestine also. And what's gonna happen to it? it's going to become feces. So it's a way of getting out the toxin. Awesome. Here is that emulsification that I should have showed you when I talked about it. Increased surface area is really the goal. for lipase to act.